In this video, we will evaluate the two trig expressions using the sum and difference identities for sine and cosine. We will first evaluate sine of the quantity x minus 90 degrees. Looking at the sum and difference identity for the sine function, sine of the quantity a plus or minus b equals sine a times cosine b plus or minus cosine a times sine b. Notice how if we have a sum of angles on the left, then we have a sum on the right as well. When we have a difference on the left, we also have a difference on the right. For our expression a is equal to x and b is equal to 90 degrees, and therefore sine of the quantity x minus 90 degrees is equal to sine x times cosine 90 degrees minus cosine x times sine 90 degrees. The next step is to evaluate cosine 90 degrees and sine 90 degrees. Now we should know these trig function values, but for a quick review, using the unit circle, notice the terminal set of 90 degrees intersects the unit circle at the point zero comma one, and on the unit circle, cosine theta equals x and sine theta equals y, and therefore cosine 90 degrees is equal to zero, and sine 90 degrees is equal to one. Performing substitution for the trig function values, we have sine x times zero minus cosine x times one. Simplifying, we have zero minus cosine x, which gives us negative cosine x. Sine of the quantity x minus 90 degrees is equal to negative cosine x. And now let's evaluate cosine of the quantity 180 degrees plus x. Cosine of the quantity a plus or minus b equals cosine a times cosine b minus plus sine a times sine b. Notice for the sum of difference identity for the cosine function, if we have a sum of two angles on the left, then we have a difference on the right. If we have a difference of two angles, we have a sum on the right. And for our expression, a equals 180 degrees, b equals x, and because we have a sum of two angles, we will have a difference on the right. Cosine of the quantity 180 degrees plus x equals cosine 180 degrees times cosine x minus sine 180 degrees times sine x. And now we evaluate cosine and sine of 180 degrees. Going back to the unit circle, the terminal side of 180 degrees intersects the unit circle at the point negative one comma zero, which means cosine 180 degrees is equal to negative one, and sine 180 degrees equals zero. Performing substitution, we have negative one times cosine x minus zero times sine x, which simplifies to negative cosine x minus zero, which is just negative cosine x. So notice how cosine of the quantity 180 degrees plus x also simplifies to negative cosine x. I hope you found this helpful.